And am I correct in thinking that that first book was became a best-selling book because you did all those speaking gigs? That's right. Tell me again how how that happened and like how many people need to needed to have bought your book. Like how hard you needed to have worked. Oh yeah. So I, I self-published, and then a publisher actually picked up uh, my book, and um, but I did most of the selling from the platform, from the mm-hmm. professional speakers platform. And um, how did I get those speaking gig- gigs? Well, I started doing all this in January, and then a friend of mine said, "I think you need to hire this lady who works at 3M." And I used to work there too, wonderful company, and um, get her to market your books for you. And I said, okay, well, let me interview her. Her name was Jane Atkinson. And if any of you want to do some very strong professional speaking, you want to talk to Jane. She's still uh, out there uh, today. So um, she came on board and, and I started speaking at all these events because when I first started speaking to these small groups, I I went to every single rotary group and lions group and women's group and whatever. And I did free talks, right? And I still recommend that to new authors today. Go and do your free talks because by this, when Jane came on board, I handed her a wad of business cards, 150 leads, thick. It's a lot. So um, I said, okay, Jane, these are all these people who said they were interested in my book and my speaking ability, so away you go. You know, and that's what she did. But she did it all by fax machine back then. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, really. But the key was uh, to, and to answer your question fully, I sold over 5,000 books in Canada on my own, basically, through all these speaking gigs. And and that's what it took to become a best-selling author in this country at that time. 